I truly think that this is the best EV charger for your Tesla or for your non-Tesla that you can buy. Today, I'm gonna tell you why. And yes, I do think it's better than the Tesla connector. Let's get into it and I'll tell you why. Okay, I made a video not too long ago that a lot of you guys watched and a lot of you guys had comments on, on as to why you should not buy Tesla's wall connector. Well, a lot of you made valid points. Number one, the wall connector is weatherproof. Number two, it charges a little bit faster than your mobile connector. And number three, it frees up your mobile connector. All valid points. I was just merely making a point. Now, I now have two Teslas. I'm still using the wall connector that I received for free and I needed another wall connector. The guys over at Apex Charging sent me out their latest Mach 2 charger. And I gotta say, I think their charger is better than Tesla's wall connector. In fact, I think it might be the best EV charger that you can buy. Let me show you and tell you why. Okay, this is Tesla's wall connector, or at least their Gen 2. They're up to a Gen 3 now, and the major differences are it's got a white faceplate on it. Mine was the previous gen. This was a special edition, had Elon Musk's signature because I got it through the referral program, it costed me zero. Today, if you wanted the universal wall charger that can charge all vehicles, including Tesla and others, it's gonna set you back $580. I want you to remember that price when we talk about the price of the Mach 2 charger. Now, outside of just what you see and it looking white versus black, Gen 3 has Wi-Fi connectivity which is really cool, but it only really utilizes that for software updates and for the initial setup through a web browser. Other than that, it doesn't really have any more features. It's got a 24 foot uh, cable length and that's it, fairly basic. Mine is hardwired in here, but now that we understand what Tesla has to offer, let's take a look at the Apex Mach 2. Okay, so here is the Apex Mach 2 charger fully installed. First thing right off the bat that you'll recognize is it has a screen. I didn't see the other charger having a screen. Now, Raj, why is a screen important? Let me give you a good example. You come home, you're tired from work, you grab your charger, you plug it in and you just walk into the house. As you're walking in, when you've got a display like this, all you gotta do is glance over and see car is unplugged. The status is right there. Now on the Tesla connector, it's not gonna say anything because your charger is not gonna begin until midnight. So you're not gonna know. This right here tells you car unplugged. That means thus letting you know, hey, it's not fully latched, go back and fix it. Not only does it show you the status, it shows you your session time, how much power, voltage, current, temperature, all on this easy to read quick display that you glance at when you're walking in or when you're walking by. Not only that, but it does also have the status light that everyone likes. There's a ring that goes right around the outskirts here that shows you the status of the charger. I'll show you a shot at night when it's darker. But on top of that, you've got this cable cord that is 30 feet long. You remember Tesla's was 24, this is 30, giving you an extra six feet. Why is that important? Because when my wife brings in her car, I don't want her thinking about, do I need to back it in? Do I need to reverse it in? Do I need to be on this side or that side? No, because it doesn't matter how she pulls in the car, with this long of a cable, it's going to reach. Now, it supports Tesla through an adapter, but you can also take that out. And you've got J1772 connector right there. So it supports uh, all EVs. Your ability to just wrap it around the charger, but it does also have a holster for you to mount the charging cable to, which is really nice. And get this, remember Tesla's charger, $580. This bad boy, this Apex uh, Mach 2 retails at $399.99. That's $180 of savings on this wall connector. Are you with me here, right? $180 savings, longer cable, digital display, and Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built in. That's right, this Wi-Fi, you actually can access through an app and change your settings like time of day, current, and so forth, which is really, really handy. I love that and I love that it's you're able to get that in a cheaper package. Let me go ahead and plug this into Wifey's car and make sure everything's working and is good to go. Grab all the cable and pull this out here, you'll see. Not gonna struggle with this one. We've got more than enough cable here. I mean, I can, yeah, I'm at the end of my driveway here. So wipe these car, let's 
go ahead and open the charging port, plug that boom right in. We're good to go. I see it come up on the screen. I see it saying charging will begin at noon, which is what I have the car set to, which is kind of nice because I can have the car set. I can have the app set. You'll see the charging screen now has lit up. It's showing me a bunch of stuff, but it hasn't began charging because it knows that I say only charge after midnight because that's my off peak. Smart. Okay, just went ahead and plugged it in. You'll actually start to see here um, charging your EV now. You actually see an animation of the vehicle lighting up green as it's getting charged. Session time, I just plugged it in. You'll start to see the power go up and the current here. So I've currently limited the current to 32 amp and there it is, 32 amp. It will not go above that. The temperature, the voltage, everything is right there easy view and it's lit up nice and bright. This is really cool. I like that. I like being able to see that and you can't see but the ambient light is showing green. A ambient green is showing that it is charging. So this area will be very clear that the vehicle is currently charging. Really nice. Let's take a look at what happens in the app. Okay, it does use the Smart Life app and in that app you can trigger the charger and here it's gonna give you the status of what is happening right now. You can of course slide across and initiate charging right away. You can change your charging modes. Now I have mine set to real-time charging so when I plug in it starts charging. You could do quantitative charging, fixed time charging if you want it off peak or delayed charging. Really handy, a lot of different options. Below that you're gonna see your uh, metrics for your phase uh, charging, your voltage, your current, your power is all right there. Then you've got charging records, like what days, how much time, how much power was used. You can scroll back and look at all that information. Or you can look back via power usage through days, months, years. Really handy to swipe back and have all that information right at your fingertips. I really like this because it'll help you to track um, all of your usage and how much you're using. Um, and then you've got uh, some more further settings like alarms and temperatures and so forth um, in, in uh, the settings piece of this app. Um, but outside of that, all of this is right there in the app, right at your fingertips. Okay, so I've been using the Apex Mach 2 charger for the last two weeks, and it's worked perfectly for both my wife's car as well as my car. Now, taking that it works perfectly, combine that with a longer cable, a cheaper price tag, a digital display, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, an app. I mean, it's a no-brainer. I'm really happy with this charger and I'm happy with the way that it's performed. If you're interested in picking up yourself an Apex Mach 2 charger, I'll leave a link to it down below. Um, special shout out to Apex for sending this out for me to test out. I'm glad I am adding this to my arsenal of chargers for both my wife's car and my car. But yeah, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.